in earlier video we have discussed about the liquid ammonia as a non aqueous solvent in this video we are going to discuss the liquid dinitrogen tetroxide it is non aqueous non protonic solvent it has low dielectric constant and therefore it is a poor solvent for ionic compounds being a low dielectric constant solvent it has less ability of solvation of ions and therefore it is a poor solvent for ionic compounds but it is very good solvent for organic compounds most of the organic compounds including alkenes halo compounds nitro compounds carboxylic acids these are freely soluble in liquid dinitrogen tetroxide it is a lewis acid and it act as a oxidizing agent these are the some physical properties of dinitrogen tetroxide it's in solid state if it is undergoes or it if it is solidified its melting point is 281.1 kelvin it boils at liquid boils at 294 kelvin its density is 1.493 in liquid state this is the density its dielectric constant is 2.42 its viscosity is 0.527 and specific conductance 1.3 into 10 to the minus 3 per ohm per centimeter so these are the some physical properties of liquid dinitrogen tetroxide it undergoes auto ionization similar to water and ammonia and dinitrogen tetroxide molecules two molecules undergoes auto ionization and there is a formation of nitrosyl ion and nitrate ion so this auto ionization can be simplified as n2o4 gives no plus plus no3 minus okay there is a formation of cation and anion and therefore from this auto ionization process it is clear that any species or any substance which is able to produce nitrosyl ion is a acid whereas any substance which is able to produce nitrate ion it is a base okay so this no plus or nitrosyl ion it is responsible for acidity of the solution and no3 minus responsible for basicity of the solution now acid base reactions a substance producing no plus ions behaves as acid example nocl then nobr etc a substance that producing no3 minus that is nitrate ions in a solution behaves as a base for example silver nitrate ethyl nitrate these are the basic basic substances so actually acid and base it is defined or these definitions are based on the ability to produce no plus that is nitrosyl ion or nitrate ion okay so nocl nobr these are acidic because they are able to produce no plus that is nitrosyl ion whereas azno3 silver nitrate or tetraethyl nitrate it should be c2h54 tetraethyl nitrate these are the bases now what is the representative neutralization reaction in liquid dinitrogen tetroxide nocl it is a acid because it is able to produce no plus when treated with agno3 that is silver nitrate which is able to produce no3 minus and therefore it act as a base 
so acid react with base and there is a formation of azcl salt that is silver chloride plus solvent that is n2o4 so this is the neutralization reaction in dinitrogen tetroxide solvent the acid base behavior of nocl is similar to the hcl for example when hcl is comes in contact with zinc or when zinc metal is added in hcl there is a evolution of hydrogen gas and we get zinc chloride that is metal salt metal salt is formed similarly when tin that is metal it is added in nocl there is a formation of nitric oxide gas at the same time there is a formation of tin chloride that is the salt and therefore nocl it act as a acid so this nitrosyl chloride act as a acid now complex formation reactions in liquid dinitrogen tetroxide when zinc nitrate is mixed with diethyl ammonium nitrate in liquid dinitrogen tetroxide there is a formation of complex that is diethyl ammonium nitrato zincate so complex is formed in liquid dinitrogen tetroxide now solvolysis solvolysis reactions in liquid dinitrogen tetroxide here diethyl ammonium chloride when mixed with dinitrogen tetroxide liquid dinitrogen tetroxide then solvolysis takes place there is a formation of nocl nitrosyl chloride and there is a solvolysis and we get diethyl ammonium nitrate similarly lithium carbonate when mixed with dinitrogen tetroxide in presence of trace of water there is a solvolysis reaction and we get lithium nitrate so n2o3 dinitrogen trioxide which is unstable and carbon dioxide now solvate formation this uh, liquid dinitrogen tetroxide it has a ability to form the solvate especially nitrates of several transition metals react with liquid dinitrogen tetroxide and form the solvates for example copper form the solvate with dinitrogen tetroxide copper nitrate n2o4 iron also form the solvate like feno3 twice n2o4 uranium nitrate form the solvate with dinitrogen tetroxide zinc is also able to form the solvate with dinitrogen tetroxide so these are the some examples of solvate of transition ions this is uranium is a f log element it also form the solvate with dinitrogen tetroxide and last the reaction with metals the metals active metals like sodium and lithium react with dinitrogen tetroxide in liquid medium there is a formation of corresponding metal nitrates like sodium nitrate and lithium nitrate at the same time there is a formation of nitric oxide nitric oxide gas is evolved so in this way dinitrogen tetroxide reacts with metal and there is a evolution of nitric oxide so in this way here we completed chemistry of non aqueous solvents so in this chapter we discussed about the physical properties of non aqueous solvents like melting point boiling point heat of fusion and vaporization 
then dielectric constants then we discussed about the viscosity under chemical properties we discussed about the acidic and basic characteristics and then we discussed about the oxidizing and reducing characteristics then we discussed about the classification of solvents solvents are classified as protonic and aprotic solvents then acidic basic amphoteric solvents ionizing and non ionizing solvents then we discussed about the non aqueous solvents and their importance then we discussed about two important non aqueous solvents like liquid ammonia and dinitrogen tetroxide so here we completed this chapter that is chemistry in non aqueous solvent